All right, you find yourself on a set wanting all the great benefits of a book light, but you don't want to deal with all the hassle of having to build such a big contraption, especially if you have a small team. Well, the good news is, I think I found a way that I can build a book light using one CSAN. I thought it was pretty cool, and I'd love to show you how I did it, because it might be something that you might want to use or incorporate on future sets for your own. Oh, and by the way, if you do find this useful, do me a favor and please hit that subscribe and like button down below. It actually makes a big difference in allowing me to keep on making content like this and keep the channel going in the future. Now, the concept of the book light is pretty simple for those of you that don't know. You basically take a big light like this, you bounce it into the bounce board, and then bounce it back through another bigger piece of diffusion. What this does essentially is it double diffuses the light and it also increases the size of your light source. The benefits of that, it gives you really nice creamy highlights and really, really soft shadows that take away the hard line. It's one of those things that separates amateur looking stuff from higher end stuff. Now the drawback to a system like this, because it does end up creating such a big source of light, is it takes up a lot of space on a set. And if you're doing an interview or you're in a smaller room, it can be become very cumbersome and hard to do this, especially if you have a smaller crew that doesn't have the time to set up. So I really set out to find a way to make a book light that I could do with one C stand. Oh, and by the way, I do know this is not a traditional book light setting. I know I'm sort of cutting some corners here, but the whole point of this is to serve a sort of an inspiration and to start a dialogue and hopefully get you out there inspired on ways to find unique ways to go and get kind of book lighting and creative lighting yourself. Now, obviously the first thing you gotta have to set this up is a good stand. And for a situation like this, you need a C stand or combo stand. A regular run of the mill light stand will not allow you to do this. It's just not safe and it's just not sturdy enough. Now, if you are gonna use a C stand, I do make another suggestion and that is to get yourself a good sturdy sandbag. Now, one thing that I have done that I've used for literally years and years and years on end is how I weigh down my sandbag which really helps with a contraption like this. Little trick of the trade, when I get my sandbags, I got some basic impact red sandbags that I use all the time on set, but I don't fill them up with sand. What I actually do is I went and got shotgun lead and I took the shotgun lead and the pellets and filled them in my sandbag. It makes my sandbag super heavy and durable. And if it breaks, I don't have sand getting in all my gear. It is something that I've had for years and it's been a really, really great trick. I really recommend you try that. Now, once you get the stand built, there's another part of this that is really, really important. And it's really cheap too. And that is the impact triple header. What this does, it greatly, greatly expands the variability and flexibility of your C-stand. I absolutely love this piece of equipment. It only costs $39 very, very flexible, it's solid metal. And what it does, it ultimately gives you five points of contact, you can hang stuff off of a C-stand. And I absolutely use this in so many different ways, but for this situation, it's really, really important. Because once you get that, you're gonna to need to build this up. And let's go ahead and talk, talk about the centerpiece on how you can build up a book light with just one light stand. And that is going to be your light source. This is absolutely critical because you need to get a powerful and soft light source. And for me, there is no better light bar none to do this with than the Aperture Nova P300C. Now, this is an incredible light all around purpose light. It's an RGB light, but I'm gonna be using it here as a bicolor configuration. Now. The reason why I think the Aperture P300C is such a great light for this is a couple things. The Nova is super, super powerful. It is very, very bright because what happens is I am actually pushing this off a of bounce board through diffusion and a grid. I'm losing about five stops of light at the end of the day when I do this. And I need a light that's powerful enough to be able to go through all that loss of light and still give me cinematic work. Now, as you can see right now, I am shooting this at an 800 ISO at a 2.8 f-stop. So I've still got plenty of light on myself and I'm able to have that because I have such a powerful light. The other thing about the Aperture Nova P300C that is so important is the shape of it. Now, as you can see, this light is a light panel type shape. It's like a sky panel. and why that's important is because that gives me automatically, as soon as I cut it on, it gives me a more diffused, softer light punch right off bat. Now, if I was using something like a spotlight, 
That could give me spots of light that become harder and give me hot spots as I'm doing this. By having a panel like this and using it for book light, this kind of light gives me a ton of flexibility in starting off and give me really diffused and nice type light. But now that I got my light, it's time for the bounce. Now the bounce is pretty simple and that's okay. What I basically did is I just went to Lowe's. You can literally go to Home Depot, any hardware store, and just got some white insulation board. And then what I did is I just used a boom arm from a C-stand and then I got an impact duckbill clamp, clamped it on there, and that is what I am bouncing my light into. Pretty simple, pretty low tech, and very, very effective. Now, once I bounce this to the board, that brings me to my next piece of technology that I consider almost as important as the light itself. And that is a diffusion panel that I use. And the one that I found that has been an absolute incredible piece of technology that I've used on a lot of sets is this. This is the Intellitech HC fast frame. Now, this is a gigantic diffusion panel. It is a five by six and a half foot panel. So it's absolutely gigantic. It gives me a nice, beautiful, large source that can cover up a large part of my body. It means I can walk around, as you can see here, and I still have nice, even light. It gives me, as an actor, I can have actors have some movement if I have more narrative stuff, or just gives me that nice, general look and feel. The other thing that I love about this thing is that it comes with a grid on it. And what that means is this grid allows me to control the spill of the light. Anytime you have a light source this big, it's going to just throw and vomit light everywhere and contaminate your back walls. What I found was really nice about this, this grid really channels and directs that lights and allows me to control it so much better. It is an absolute godsend. I've honestly don't see grids this big very often. And for 350 bucks, this is an incredible, incredible price. And really the other thing that I think is really important just as a practical filmmaker is I spend a lot of my time driving around in a Honda Civic. And what I love about this fast frame is I can break it down in less than about 40 seconds. It literally just is a frame. I can pop it all down, fit it in a bag, and put it in the back seat of my Honda Civic. And once I have this thing built, I can just take another C-stand boom arm, and all I do is just put there, attach it on the top, and boom, I have a one light stand Book light. In addition to that, once you have this grid and the diffusion on there, you can break it all down with it all on there. So you're not sitting there putting on diffusion and grids every time you open this thing. You basically build it once, you break it down, open it back up, break it down, open it back up. Makes it so much easier to do things like this, especially when you have tight schedules that often comes on commercial shoots. Pretty simple pretty straightforward. Now I might go and do one other thing. I have a little divotine. I'll go ahead and maybe clamp it on the side just to try and take some bleed off the walls. And that's basically it. I mean, it's a very, very simple, low key thing. I can build this by myself in about eight or nine minutes and I can break it down even faster than that. So it gives me a lot of options when I'm out there shooting. And then really the only thing I might wanna do in a situation like this is I might wanna bring in a little negative fill just to bring up my contrast ratios. I can just basically take one more C-stand, grab this over here, bring this here just out of frame like that. And I'll add in just a little negative fill here on my side just to boost up my contrast ratios. And now I have nice cinematic lighting, really, really fast and easy to go all off one C stand. So anyway there guys, there you go. It is that fast and it is that simple to get a one stand book light ready to go if you have a smaller crew or you're by yourself out there running and gunning. Anyway, I'd love to hear what you have to say about this. Please leave me any notes and comments down below. And yeah, I'd rather keep on shooting and uh, yeah, I'll talk to you soon.